Today I'd like to propose the dealership business that up to four players could run together in GTA Online, combining three existing businesses that include and pay out to everyone fairly. Last week I went into more detail as to why businesses don't work well cooperatively in our current GTA Online, so feel free to check it out in the description or in the card to the top right right now. GTA Online needs to go back to its roots and have a better focus on creating a criminal empire together and not just solo forming ever-expanding businesses that can be run with a group up to four players would be a perfect fix. I highly doubt this would be put into our current GTA Online, so for this purely conceptual idea, we'll assume that this will exist in GTA 6 Online with our current GTA 5 Online economy. So with all this out of the way, let's break down the dealership business in all three of its tiers. So what is this business? The dealership, as I mentioned, would consist of three already existing businesses. The auto shop to fix up cars for customers, the vehicle warehouse to steal and source cars, and the salvage yard to tow junker cars and of course car robberies. The business would mostly consist of stealing and repoing cars or fixing them up to sell in your dealership car lot. One owner could buy this property and allow up to three friends to be co-owners. The owner would have a preferences menu to allow their co-owners certain permissions. For example, one of the permissions could allow the members to source cars on their own without the leaders needing to be online. This business could be persistent so long as a member with the correct permissions is online to run it. This business would start off humble and slowly upgrade to be a well-paying criminal front to pay out to up to four friends. I love how Red Dead Online did the role system, so I would like to see it returned for this business. After all, upgrading your business should be done through experience instead of being able to max upgrade everything before you've even stepped foot in the place, like you currently can in GTA Online. This role could be called a car thief role and you would be able to progress in this role by completing business related sourcing missions or sell missions or anything of the sort. Leveling up in the car thief role will unlock perks to upgrade the business and eventually source higher end vehicles. So you just bought this business. Now you have the choice to do it solo or with friends. Obviously for this video we're choosing friends. The property would consist of the showroom, underground storage, and a garage with a mechanic in it. But of course first you need cars. The dealership will allow you to sell five cars on the lot at a time and put ten cars in the storage. So when a car is sold it could be replaced by one of the cars in storage which later on will be upgraded in the higher tiers. The owner can allow all of the co-owners to source vehicles on their own. Each player could call a contact on the phone to start a sourcing mission solo, choose to pair up, or even do it as a group. But to be efficient as possible, we choose to do it all solo to ensure maximum profits. Since you're brand new to the business, you can only steal low-end or standard vehicles to sell at around twenty dollars to $40,000 each. These source missions for low-end vehicles could have you go to a location and steal it stealthily or loudly to give the missions a little variety. Some missions could have you tow away cars with the tow truck being callable from the interaction menu so you're not forced to drive it there and back from the dealership. Now that you've successfully completed a sourcing mission, you'll be rewarded with Car Thief Roll XP. Any vehicle that has been towed back to the dealership will have to be fixed up by the mechanic and then can be sold or stored. The mechanic will also be tier 1, so investing in a second mechanic would be smart early on as they will take longer. But mechanics will get better as they get more experience, aka their efficiency will be based on the owner's level. Any vehicle that wasn't towed can immediately be put up for sale and take an in-game day or 48 minutes to sell. Here's the two routes of how I think the payout should work in this four-player group setting. Whoever stole the car, no matter who makes the sale, should get 100% of the cut and all the other players should get 50% of the cut or everyone just gets 100% of the sale, but I definitely see the first option as being better in my opinion, where each person will get rewarded 50%, except the person that stole that specific car who'd get 100%. Players would be rewarded with the money so long as they were online. The leader could also set up preferences on who can and cannot sell cars, so randoms couldn't sell them if you were waiting for a friend to get online. I also think there should be a safe for this business as well that can hold up to $100,000 for tier 1 and earn 10 k every hour. So if I was online all day and my friend came home from work after 8 hours of me playing, he'd be able to hop on and collect $80,000 from the safe. 
the safe shouldn't collect any money if no one from the business is currently online. This business at tier 1 should be pretty simple and bare bones, but also ensure that there's plenty to do when you first purchase the property, and will only build upon itself after selling and sourcing enough cars, you now have enough XP for tier 2 of the business at level 5. Now that you've made more of a name for yourself and the dealership, you can purchase some upgrades for the business. You can now buy up to 4 mechanics because things are going to start getting way busier. Tier 2 will further expand on how you can make money and expand the activities to do so. The dealership's car lot now holds up to 10 cars and underground storage will be upgraded to 20 cars. The safe now earns 15k an hour and holds up to 150k. Random events will start spawning around in the free roam world for more car sourcing opportunities. Mid-tier vehicles are now sourceable to sell at sixty to $80,000, but we'll get to that a little later. People now want the owner's touch, and no, not the Diddy touch, but here's where the auto shop customization comes to play. Customers can now bring in their cars and have the players customize it and deliver it back to them or send a mechanic to deliver it. Nothing too complicated here, I just think it'd be a great addition to this car related business and should stick to the 100% cut to who did the customization and 50% cuts to the other owners. Like I mentioned before, your business is making quite a name for itself and now gives you the option to steal mid-tier cars. To steal these cars though, you will need a special lock picking set which is unlockable for hitting level 5 in the car thief role. So until you hit level 5, you cannot steal these cars, but can still participate in the auto shop and low tier car sourcing. The lock pick set will be a mini game that will take skill to get used to, but you can practice in your garage on some set locks. It will be important to get good at lock picking and bringing as little attention to yourself as possible while sourcing these cars, because people will start to catch on. Getting caught will add a heat meter to the car. Gangs and other affiliations you steal these cars from will now take note and try to attack your business if you're not too careful. Of course, if you successfully steal the car with perfect stealth and no witnesses, it will add no heat. And your mechanics will switch a license plate, give it a new paint job, once you bring it back to the dealership to get it ready for a sale, which will take a little longer to sell at a day and a half or 72 minutes in real life. Getting caught stealing a car will add heat to a car, so it'd be advised you store it for a while before you sell it. Selling it would still be possible, but you will run the risk of your business being attacked. The individuals you pissed off, a gang for example, will show up at random attempting to steal and wreck all of your cars in your dealership's car lot. This will require all hands on deck as there will be a limited time to stop them from destroying or stealing your cars. You would of course get a warning or a call from someone warning you about it and the co-owners of the attack. All owners will need to drop what they're doing and hightail it back to the dealership as ignoring it will have dire consequences and possibly lose you hundreds of thousands of dollars. I would love to be minding my own business immersed in the world of GT Online and then all of a sudden someone screwed up everyone is paying the price. The attack will last 5 minutes straight and will have you simply defending your dealership. Car robberies will also now be available from the salvage yard business. The owner can set up preferences to allow all the co-owners to do their own setup missions solo simultaneously. So if there are 4 setup missions, everyone could do their own mission to prepare for the finale. After a successful heist, the car is put into storage to sell to a special buyer as it would be too risky to sell on the lot. At any time the vehicle is sold, everyone will get 100% of the cut, so long as they participated in the heist itself. The business is once again built upon itself and immerses you into the role of a criminal car salesman. There's risks and more planning necessary to keep your business safe and continue to earn that maximum profit. After selling and sourcing enough cars, you once again now have enough XP for tier 3 of the business at level 10. Business is at an all time high and you can now purchase more upgrades for the business. You can now buy up to 6 mechanics, the dealership's car lot will now hold up to 20 cars and underground storage will hold up to 40 cars. The safe now earns 25k an hour and holds up to 250k. Random events will now occur more often in free roam to steal cars. More people will want their car customized by your dealership. High tier vehicles are now sourceable to sell at $100,000 to $120,000 and will take 2 in game days or 96 minutes to sell on the lot. To steal these cars you will need a special hacking tool that will be unlocked at level 10. This once again 
has the heat system and will require you to steal these cars while bringing as little attention yourself as possible. If attacked, your business will now be attacked for 10 minutes instead of 5. With your business growing, you have caught the attention of some up and coming car thieves that now can be hired to source vehicles for you, similar to Lupe from the Special Crate Warehouse. You can hire up to two and will only be able to steal low-end cars but eventually get mid-tier cars at level 15 and high-end cars at level 20. They will especially be useful for solo players by automatically stealing one car each per day. You can also set preferences on what cars they can steal and whether or not they should be put right on the lot or should be put in the storage. They will prove themselves very useful but slightly increase the risk of getting attacked as there is always room for mistakes. They will also demand half the cut of the car sales sold on the lot, so all players will receive 50% of the sold cars stolen by the car thieves. Collections, similar to the vehicle warehouse business, now vary between small collections of 4 up to 10 cars. A 10 car collection can be sold with a car hauler and will be purchasable at tier 3 and will greatly pay out 100% for everyone involved on the mission. With your business ever expanding, the owner can purchase warehouses around the map to cut down drive time in sourcing missions. Then, a mechanic could be told to retrieve a car from a different warehouse and bring it back to the dealership to be sold or stored. As you can see, this business will start out pretty humble and will only build upon itself to be a well-oiled money-making machine for your friends to participate in, while not getting screwed in the process. The addition of heists will be fun to include everyone and earn great amounts of money at once. Along with the passive income and many things this business offers, this should be our first business in GTA 6 Online to start off our criminal enterprise with our friends. The game's literally called GTA, so our first business being this dealership and stealing cars would be perfect. Our successful ventures of this dealership could eventually lead to other people contacting us about heists or other businesses in the future updates. I'm not saying you have to max out this dealership to unlock the next business or update, but if Lester, for example, called us about some business or heist, he'd hear about us from the dealership business. The dealership business could also get more upgrades and updates as the game went on. Maybe we can start stealing planes or boats, for example. We should not have three separate businesses that will only benefit solo players when it could fit into one massive business and include everyone. Don't get me wrong, I don't think this business should be completely useless when doing it solo, but I think there should be a positive or a benefit to doing it solo, like the decrease in risk when stealing all these cars. Four players stealing cars, inevitably they're gonna mess up at some point, including the two car thieves like I mentioned before. At the end of the day, if a solo player can make a million dollars per hour with this business, I think four dudes who really know what they're doing and are very efficient and very good at this game should be making two to 2.5 million dollars. I don't think it should quadruple to four or five million dollars because the whole point of this business, like I said, is doing this with your friends to be as efficient as possible and to make as much money as possible. Before I get into any additional features of this dealership, let me know what else you'd add to this business or if what I said was complete nonsense. I personally think everything would fit in perfectly into GTA Online with maybe some balancing here and there. Rockstar, if you're watching this, feel free to call me about a lead creative design role for GTA 6 Online, as I would gladly consider it. Anyways, some additional features for the dealership. I think allowing the owner to name the dealership could prove quite fun. We could already name our yachts in GTA Online, so I would love to see what people would come up with for their names of their dealerships. Customizing the placement of the cars on the car lot, maybe organizing them by color or type of car could be really fun. Fun, the ability to landscape or customize the interiors of our dealership. Selling vehicles to other players in GT Online from the car lot would be cool too. Similar, of course, to the LS car me. If this business would exist in GTA 6, I hope these interiors would be open for everyone and have some sort of passive mode where if you're near the business or in the business, it can't be shot up randomly. This could also open up some funny random events like a Karen jumping on the hood of one of your new Dodge Chargers or Hellcats or something and you would have to throw her out. Once again, let me know what you guys think of the business and anything you'd add or take away. Another concept business idea I have for GTA 6 Online would of course be the drug businesses. Right now, there are three separate businesses, that of course being the weed, the Coca-Cola, and the Blue Crystal Farm. I think that should either be combined into one business or completely overhauled to be a bigger and better business that can consider four players like the dealership did and have all four players be making money. I have a lot of good ideas for that too, so if you'd like to hear that, I'll be sure to do so. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you're new, consider subscribing. In the meantime, check out this video right here, and I'll see you guys in the next one.